high this paroxysm here. Um, this duel, I don't think it's really correct. I know he didn't break the rules, but his character is supposed to be Zero Kaiba, but he's running on more of a like a light sworn slash shadow deck. Um, I think they should have, like changed the rules for the requirements for Zero Kaiba, not just like free blue eyes and free um maiden. Like you could have like added like like XYZ Dragon Cannon opposite to Tormentor, Voice Raider and stuff to limit any controller and stuff. So then you can limit them abusing like meta decks to cheat. Like that's what I think some players do to cheat. Like it didn't really fit the theme for Seto Kaiba. It's fit more of a Shadow deck, but this is back in August, so that's why Shadow's construct is not banded at the moment. So it was basically just me complaining that he's just not having the theme of the tournament. Like he's playing more of a meta, so then he can just win the game. Like, this tournament, the only problem was limiting the character's deck. Like, for Kaiba, there was like only a few cards, like six. And other characters like mine had to like run more. So I don't think it, it was very fair for some people's character deck. Basically, I surrender here because I basically lost anyways. And on to round two. Hi, this is Virox here. Um, this will be the final round of the loser brackets. Um, during this game, I was really still complaining why is he playing a light sword in Shadow deck when it's not even set of Kaiba's blue eyes deck. And I find it really unfair that he could run a deck like this. The purpose of this tournament was supposed to be like a character's theme tournament. Not a, like a meta tournament. Like, I think it, they should have like limited even more cards for the Blue Eyes White Dragon. They could have like the White Soul Legend, um, Dragon Shrine, Silver's Cry, XYZ Dragon Cannon, Force Raider, Enemy Controller. Like any cards to support the blue eyes white dragon deck, I think I'm okay with that. But I'm really against like using some sort of like adding just a few from the carriers deck and using a meta deck in order to like get into the finals, which you really did. Like, I wasn't really, I think I was like complaining too much during this duel, saying, WTF, you're running a light sworn shadow deck, this is, this, it's unrelated to the character all-star tournament, which he never plays Blue Eyes White Dragon, he never did. So yeah, this is my last match. But busy, I complained too much during this duel and the, during the tournament. And I didn't really join any of the other new tournaments afterwards. Because of how some decks can be created like this. Um, I don't really have anything against the person who started the tournament, but I'm just glad that the person who won was using Pendant Magician because Pendant Magician is used by Sakaki Yuya and it fits into a theme of the tournament which I was very really glad but I just hope that in the future like during the if they host more character tournaments I think they should like limit more on the characters deck so then they can't like use more of the meta cards like say for example if you run like a Psychic deck, and then you can add more like Cosmos cards, maybe, and you can like basically cheat during tournament, but your deck contains the required card for the anime character, and pretty much 
if their decks if their decks were limited, it would be better. Like so then they can't like use like adding meta cards. That's the only thing I didn't really like about the tournament. Like I think this was my only opponent that used a meta deck against me. Everyone else like used a character spin deck, but only during my last opponent used more of a light sword and shadow deck in a all-star character anime character tournament. 